Hello, this is John Messick in Geographic Information Systems. This is a supplement on using and reading UTM coordinates and also defining locations using the public land survey system. This is the East Joplin USGS topographic map quadrangle. Uh, this, by the way, is located in UTM Zone 15. On older USGS topographic maps, the UTM 1000 meter grid is uh, represented by blue tick marks along the margin of the map. Newer maps may have the UTM grid superimposed across the entire area. But on this older map, the UTM grids are visible here, here, and here. So I've highlighted in yellow those tick marks along with the associated uh, designation. Now this UTM tick mark is not labeled simply because of the other labeling there for Redding's Mill in red, uh, but it would read 4097 since the one just below that south of it is 4096. Now notice that in the uh, numbering the 40 in the highlighted area is superscripted. So 4096 and then on the uh, bottom uh, margin here we have uh, superscripted 367 and uh, to the right of that we have a superscripted 368. Now this UTM grid is set up so that there is 1,000 meters between the tick marks. That is 1,000 meters between that tick mark, this tick mark, and in the same way between that uh, tick mark at 367 and 368. Now what I have done to improve clarity is use a graphics editor and extend blue lines uh, from the tick marks, from the UTM tick marks along the margin of the map. Thus, this area that I'm highlighting in yellow, represented by the intersection of the uh, UTM tick marks, that is 1,000 meters in each dimension. That is, the distance between the intersecting lines is 1,000 meters in each dimension. So let us see how we would define the location of this building that I've designated with the uh, green arrow in the northeast uh, corner of this uh, UTM grid that I've designated with the blue lines. A handy tool for more accurately reading these UTM coordinates are plastic transparent grids that are available from various vendors or you can actually locate uh, sites that provide these that you can actually download and then uh, photocopy onto a piece of transparency. Uh, but this uh, n is nothing more than a, a rectangular grid to help you read uh, UTM coordinates. So I've positioned this grid uh, in the uh, in the area that we want to use. These transparent grids are available in different scales. The one we're using is for a 1 to 24,000 uh, USGS topographic map. And so uh, it represents a thousand meters in each dimension. Thus the small squares are 100 meters by 100 meters. As you see in the highlighted area there on the uh, on the grid, that represents 100 meters by 100 meters. Thus, by using this grid, our UTM coordinates to the nearest 100 meters are shown in the top uh, center of the uh, picture, 3677 east, 40966 north. Now what that does is define that location to the nearest uh, 100 meters uh, within that square that you see highlighted in yellow. 
we could interpolate and actually uh, define that uh, more accurately by adding a digit to uh, each uh, each uh, side of the uh, location, that is, to the easting and to the northing. So by interpolating, we can estimate that location as uh, an additional 2 on the x-axis of our square and an additional 8 on the uh, on the uh, vertical axis. So our coordinates then become 3, 6, 7, 7, 2 east, 4, 0, 9, 6, 6, 8 north. That would be accurate to 10 meters. In actual practice, we often leave off the superscripted digits, and in that case, our UTM coordinates to uh, 10 meter accuracy would be 67729668 zone 15. We can locate the UTM zone on the margin of the map. Although we may sometimes use a shorthand abbreviation for the UTM coordinates, it is important to formally put these in the context of the UTM grid. So remember, the 4096 tick mark that I've indicated by the arrow in the lower left corner actually is reported in thousands of meters. So that represents 4096 thousand meters north of the equator. In the same way, the 367 tick mark along the bottom of the map that's out of your view represents 367 thousand meters. Thus, the, uh, t the location of the square highlighted in yellow is actually 367700 east, 4096600 north, to be accurate in terms of the entire UTM grid. In the handout I supplied, that wasn't necessarily made clear. Expanding our coordinates to the nearest 10 meters, they become 367720 east, 4096680 north. At least that's an estimate for the location of the building uh, in the uh, indicated cell. I've denoted the readings on the uh, small square axes with the green arrows. Uh, once again, sometimes uh, the full UTM uh, coordinate system is expressed in shorthand, but it should be included uh, in order to properly place this within the UTM system. Also, we would always need to know the UTM zone, and in this case it is zone 15. The zone information is available on the margin of the map. Now in ArcMap, if we are using a UTM projection, we can read the UTM coordinates in our uh, coordinate uh, panel at the bottom of the screen. That's uh, the area that I've outlined in the blue rectangle, the blue frame. And so, for example, if I precisely position my pointer at the building that we identified and located using the transparent grid, at least the first four digits or so are very uh, are close or exactly what we obtained with that manual measurement. The easting is 3677, the northing 40966. In our map margin, we can find information about the uh, the UTM grid and I've highlighted that in yellow the thousand meter universal transverse mercator grid ticks zone 15 shown in blue. On these uh, conventional and, and generally older USGS topographic maps the public land survey system is uh, more complete than the UTM. And so 
the sections are uh, outlined in red. So for example, the area highlighted in yellow is one section, one mile by one mile. Notice also that the section number is uh, in the center in red letters. So that is thir thir section 36. Adjacent it uh, on the west is section 35 and so on. Township and range lines are shown on the margin again in red letters. So for example this is township 26 north. There's a boundary of townships there and so this is township 27 north and that township 27 north will extend northward six miles until we uh, intersect another township and so here we have the boundary between township 27 north and township 28 north and on the um, northern and uh, southern borders of the map we will have the range lines and so for example here is range 33 west here is range 32 uh, west and so there is a range line boundary uh, at, uh, at this point right here. And if you would follow that uh, uh, northward, you would find that that is, um, corresponds to range line road here in Joplin. So if I wanted to read the location of the X in the upper uh, left part of this section, which is section 36, I would do so in this way. To read to the nearest quarter of one quarter section, it would be the northwest one quarter of the northwest one quarter, section 36, township 27 north, range 33 west, Joplin East Quadrangle, Jasper County, Missouri. And here on the screen is the location we define. Remember, the quadrangle name and other information is on the margin of the map. That completes this presentation. Thanks for watching.